Hey, welcome back to Fat Mama Physics. Shh, really quiet, the baby is sleeping. So I am gonna, shh, this is the part two of Logger Pro 3 tutorial on how to say, analyze emo an emotion that, um, that you've took a video of. So I am going to, sh uh, so if you forgot what that was, let me just move this to the back. So that was the motion. I tracked a falling object uh, over time as it fell to the ground. Okay, so let's, that's basically what we did. Move this to the back. Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you a couple of things. I'm going to show you how to take um, part of the graph and just to kind of look through the tangent lines, how to m make a curve fit to the graph, including curve fit and linear fit. Uh, next up is to find the area underneath the graph. And I believe that is it. So those are kind of the things that uh, I'd like you to be able to do. So hopefully now you've learned a bit of kinematics. You kind of have an idea what these graphs are telling you. So I'm going to switch to um, different viewing mode. Remember, we can switch the, the axes in different viewing mode. We can make some meaning now. If you take a look at the x-axis, this is the, uh, the horizontal movement of the object. If it's just falling straight down, you're probably not going to see a lot of difference. In fact, if you take a look at the time, this is only 37 seconds to, sorry, you can't see over here. It's 41 seconds sorry, 4.1 seconds. So it's a very short range of time. And in terms of the movement, it doesn't go very much to the side even. This is zero and this is 0 0.002 meters. That's barely five centimeters. So um, so that's the um, x axis. And notice that because we don't have see a lot of movement, we shouldn't, the um, x velocity is not going to give us any significant interesting information here. We are interested in, however, in the motion in the y-axis. Uh, this is different if you do a 2D projectile motion. So I challenge you to film you throw something at an angle, do the same thing, do the same motion tracking with Logger Pro 3, and then see the different graphs you can make. Or you can visualize what the graphs could be because then you'll have an X component to your motion. Okay, so coming back down to the Y component. So here's the um, the Y. And notice that uh, it's interesting because over time you see that the object is, uh, oh, oh, sorry, the time is, oh, and that's exactly the time it, it took me to drop it. So even in a short amount of time. Okay, so that's uh, every, every, point in time i every frame i was able to uh to to get the um the x the y reading so then it shows you over time it starts to fall down but then and then it speeds up near the end so then we can actually take here's a position time graph we can find the tangent to every single point along this line so if you take a look at all your tools here there's a lot of tools uh i would just go to analyze cuz i just see everything there I can go to something called a tangent line. So I just press on tangent and notice as I am just, uh, I'm just hovering my mouse over every point along my graph and it shows me the slope there. It's uh, my computer's a little slow, but if I put it there, uh, C over on this side, it shows a negative 2.347 meters per second. And notice that as my slope is getting steeper, this slope is getting more negative. Okay. Or basically a larger number, but it's negative. Okay. So, um, uh, that's your velocity. Absolutely. Uh, before we jump to, um, before we jump to the Y velocity graph, I'm going to quickly show you how to do a curve fit. So if you go to analyze, you notice that there are two options. There's a linear fit and a curve fit. So since this is a curve, I'm going to do a curve fit, curve fit here. And there's many options. Um, so far, we in math, you probably haven't learned too many. Um, there's a, if you keep scrolling down, there's a lot more options, which get really interesting as you start uh, doing more advanced experiments where you might collect data, where you have all sorts of ways you can model your graph. But this model, you probably know it, it's a quadratic. Okay, so I'm gonna click your quadratic. And uh, so, it hasn't done anything yet, but you can, uh, it also tells you how to set these values. But why do it yourself when you can just try the fit yourself? Just 
click it and the computer automatically, the program automatically makes this nice curve, tells you all these values and you click OK and bam, it's right here on the graph. You have a little um, box here that describes all of these um, values, the A, B, uh, C values. You're able to move this table by clicking it and just dragging it to wherever you like it. So you can do all sorts of things on this graph and um, you can just move these boxes as accordingly. If you want to copy this graph and paste it somewhere else, you right click, go to copy. If I want to open a Word doc, something like that, I just paste it here or just command paste um, like that. Okay, so that's a way how to take your graphs to somewhere else. Okay, so next up what I'm going to show you is I'm going to show you the, uh, the Y velocity parts. Is there stuff we can do here for sure? So absolutely, if you take a look at the... Um, the Y displacement, the position time graph here, notice the curve uh, as it gets steeper, there's prob probably a, it, the object is accelerating. So then we can see how is the object accelerating? Does it have constant acceleration? If you take a look at this line on your Y velocity graph, your slope is relatively the same, meaning in terms of the acceleration, it should be relatively the same as well. Here's a way how to use a linear curve. So you go to analyze again, you go to linear fit. Okay, and because it's linear, there's not many things you can select about it. You just bam, click it, and the computer should give it to you right away, which my computer is not doing. Okay, so let's try that again. So here, click linear fit, bam, there you go. Um, although what I, what I did before was interesting, and oh yeah, same thing. You can move it around, and this is your Y, your B, uh, slope intercept, Y intercept form. Y equals MX plus B. It uh, gives you the slope here and gives you the Y intercept. Um, it tells you some of these other numbers that has to do with statistics. So um, we're not going to worry about statistics in this video right now. So um, basically, in terms of kinematics, however, this slope is meaning to us, meaningful to us because our object should fall at the rate of gravity, 9.81 meters per second squared. There's a negative value here because we've determined downwards direction to be negative. So here it's kind of close. 9.926, close to 9.81, but you know, it's uh, it's still pretty good. So let me show you something quick. So the thing what I was doing before is I could select part of my graph even. I don't even have to take the full uh, motion. I can go analyze and I can go linear fit. And um, you can kind of see how this linear fit only does these data points here that I've selected. So if you take a look at my slope, it's actually a little different, negative 10.17 meters per second squared. So that's something you could do. And uh, even at the end of my graph here, it's a little bit curved, and I think has to do with a bit of a deceleration that I also, also tracked, which I probably shouldn't. Or maybe it's the, the motion it was hard to track as it started to get blurry in the beginning. So because of these factors, um, of course, you always want to use all your data points because uh, you have to stick, stick truth to them unless there's a very reason, very good reason why you're ruling them out. But, um, but if you do collect data in which you only want a segment of the graph, you can just select highlight and then do your curve fit. Something cool there. Okay, the other thing I want to show you is, uh, I think it's the last thing I want to show you, is how to do a, um, find the area underneath the graph. So on the velocity time graph, we know the area underneath the graph is the displacement. So it's the total position change. So we can actually try it. Let's go back to the Y velocity graph, sorry, Y um, position time graph. And um, assuming my mob objects started relatively close to zero, the origin, it kind of went just a bit above one and a half meters in terms of my total tracking. So let's go to see if that's the case if we grab the area underneath this graph here. Now, when you want to do that, you're going to go to analyze, uh, make sure I'm going to have the whole thing. So I'm not going to select any part of the graph, analyze, and I'm going to go to integral. You might be thinking, what is that? Uh, that's not area. That doesn't say area. That, 
Integral means it's it's a calculus term. You're not going to learn that very soon. Maybe next year. Um, but essentially, what it does it's it finds the area underneath your graph. That's a uh, we click it and bam, this is what you get. And I can kind of move this box that was generated from that. So you can kind of see this, it says integral for this graph and the integral gives us negative 1.598. And this is seconds. Star means to multiply meters per seconds. Hey, that's perfect. Isn't that what it is? Well, seconds times meters seconds, that just gives us meters, right? And 1.5, roughly what we agreed upon earlier. That was the total displacement that I tracked. So there you go. The area underneath this graph gave us the displacement, which is our integral, and it's negative because uh, we chose negative to be our downwards direction. So this is all I'm going to cover in this video. And uh, I think this is enough for you to kind of work with kinematics and especially just to get you started with Logger Pro. And I think there's, there's so much to learn about Logger Pro. It's a, it's a fascinating software. It allows you to track your motion, do all sorts of cool things. So I wish you the best of luck using it. And hopefully this will help you with your assignment or two, maybe your, um, design lab in the future. So thank you for watching. I, Wish you the best. Fat Mama Physics signing out.